All right, so this is what a student sees when they are logged in. Um, they can see their name, they can see their activity level that kind of tracks what they've done. If they click on assignments, this is where they're going to see books that the teacher has assigned specifically for them to read. Um, so I'm going to flip over to the teacher view. Um, and if you look right here, Shar, you can see I have a list of students here, um, kind of in the background. And over on the right hand side, I have these little dots. If I click on the little menu dots, it's going to give me the option to enable home access. And when I do that, it asks me to put in the parent email account. So I'm going to put in the parent email account and cr click create home account. What that's going to do is send a parent an email from Epic saying that you are being at, uh, given the opportunity to subscribe and have those accounts linked. So the parent will then come in here and they will have this information. They'll click get started. And at that point, the parent is going to need to make a choice. Do they want to do the free account? Do they want to do a paid account or just the trial? So that is up to the individual parent. And then once they're logged in, this is what their screen is going to look like. Um, it's going to give them a search tab so they can be searching and adding things to their own library. But if they click on dashboard, they're going to see your, their child and they're going to see how many books they've finished. And when they click on the child's name or view activity, they're going to see this exact same profile that would be on the student iPad at school. So they can see the activity, how long they've been reading, how many pages that have been flipped. They can also click on the assignment tab here and they'll be able to see the books that were assigned to the child by you. I hope this helps. Please let me know if you have more questions.